Recording in progress. All right. So, where we left off, you all had a week in between your travel from returning from the Friendly Arm Inn uh, to do some research of your own, which I still have to send you, I know. Uh, when you, one of you ran into an old friend and had an interesting conversation. Shut and then, the heart. and then recently, um, in your moments of tedium of studying, couldn't stand the boredom anymore and needed something to do, overheard a rumor from little one and decided to pursue where you stepped into a portal and found a, a fey wild spa and the mysteries therein. But we are going to start with earlier in that morning, we'll go back in time a bit and say, Mimi, you woke up and there was no one around. All of your friends, you can't, you, you, you got bored. You couldn't find them. You don't know what has happened to cause this. Where are you looking? You know, that's a really good question. Where were we? Were we in a building? Were we outside? You're in, you're in Candlekeep right I'm in now. Candlekeep. You're in okay. Candlekeep. Uh, so there's the Court of Air, which is that general courtyard. There's the Hearth, which is the tavern. Um, there's the Pillars of Pedagogy. Lots of different places you can look. Okay. I'm gonna go around, probably go to the tavern and see if I can find Little One. Because, like, I feel of all people, I don't know. Like, I feel like he might know where where people might be. Okay. I'm just going to start asking around, essentially. Make a, an investigation check. Slay. Decent friends with Ling, so that would be at least a good start there. Oh, yeah. Let's try an investigation, you know, see where we get. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. -hmm. You somehow found yourself distracted. Enjoyed a rather lovely conversation with a couple members of the staff here, sharing beauty tip tips. Next thing you know, it's like early afternoon. You still have no idea where anyone is, but you do see little one when you finally do make your way to the tavern. <laughs> it just takes a while to get there. You see little one sitting there with a tea, little glasses on the edge of the nose, and a book way too small for his oversized hands. Hey, valid though. We love a big boy. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Mimi's just going up. Oh my god, hey! I've been looking for you everywhere. You must have been hiding from me or something. Oh, hello. Yes, I don't hide very well, but it's wonderful to see you again. Hi. Um, I have a query for you. Oh, yes, yes. How can I help? So, like, I've, like, low-key lost my party. Have you seen them at all? Like, did you, like, did they talk to you or, like, did you see them leave? Earlier this morning, they did come through here. They were asking about anything that might be interesting happening. I just pointed them towards Loris. I know who that is. Loris is one of the staff members here and has been... Hmm, 
anxious about something recently. I believe at this time of day, well, I'm assuming she would be heading to, through the court of air to begin sweeping. Wow. What a sleigh. Her. Oh my god, thank you. How you been, by the way? Pretty good. Found a lovely new book over here. I'm very excited to see you again. Slay. That must be really... It must be really good to read. It Slay. certainly is. It certainly is. You have so much fun with that. I will. Good luck with your endeavors. I hope you find them. Thank you. I'm really bad at finding things, so I hope so too. Bye. You and head I'm off. Go. Head off into the corner of air, just being yeah. told that Loris is a staff member who sweeps sometimes. Uh, make a, a perception check again to see if you can find someone in the court of air. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna go so good. I have a plus two for perception, so maybe I'll get a three or an eight. <laughs> eight. Luckily, it's a really big empty air courtyard. And it doesn't take you very long before you spot a small group of staff members. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> So for when we watch this later on, we will get to learn that Sarah's camera is not working. And therefore, you're stuck looking at this picture and everyone's now confused and it's missing. It's a sleigh photo, though. <laughs> Why, thank you. I took it yeah. up at, at a, a local park, I think, or Longwood. Sleigh. Longwood. A true sleigh. Um... Yeah, so I hope I don't throw you guys off too much by the lack of being able to see what I'm doing with my face. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, but you do find a, a small group of uh, acolytes with uh, brooms and hands in the courtyard looking through seeing uh, 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 and sweeping the court. Do you approach? Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go up and just be like, hi, and um, I was looking for someone. Oh my god, who was I looking for? It's someone I know. La, 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 that's a great. I'm actually so good. It's I'm Are slaying you? every day. Immaculate okay. vibes constantly. I'm like really lost though. My party like just straight up disappeared. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um Who are who's in your party? And Kindle, she's a fiery badass babe. Renji, they are slicey dicey magnificent. And Ling is just a bundle of light and that that just lights my day all the time. Um Ling also like never looks the same, so I can't give like Oh Ling? Ling just fucking Ling works here, Ling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. works here, Ling. Eats every day, Ling. Slays the house down in Houston and I'm a deceased Ling. Yeah. Oh, well that's one description. Um <laughs> yeah. Um Loris said that she saw them earlier and she's kind of been keeping was keeping guard where they were. She's over by the Emerald Door. Um, apparently there was a portal of some kind that opened up. Because of course, yeah. Seems to be gone now, but you're welcome to see if that can happen again. Hmm. What a sleigh. Do you know what, where they said they opened up? Oh, through the Emerald Door. Um, here, follow me. 
uh, and leads you over towards the Emerald Door where you see the standard individual who stands guard in that space looks over. Oh, uh, and uh, another individual, a half-elf woman standing there. Um, and the the uh, acolyte who's escorting you goes, Loris, Loris, do you remember where that book and portal thing were? And she has under her arms tucked a beautifully leather, green leather bound book with golden filigree along all of its edges. And in the center of it is a big shining silver like oval that looks like a mirror tucked in her arms. Uh, yeah, uh, I've got it. I've got it here. Um, why are you looking for it? Hi, babe. Um, my party, like, just, like, they're just, like, not here. And, like, honestly, I'm at the point in my life where, like, I low-key have nothing else to do unless I'm doing something with them. So, like, I'm just, like, trying to get to my people. Are you one of Ling's friends? Yes! Oh, my God, I love how popular they are. It's such a slay. Well, they are another staff member here, yes? That's... Um, uh, here, and holds the book out in front of you. Um, oh my god, it's so pretty. Is this like, and you said it's like a mirror, right? There's a mirror, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like immediately looking in the mirror like, oh my god. Oh, hang on. Loose eyelash. Eh. Oh, oh, water. Oh, okay. Slay. Oh my god, what a slay. As you're looking at the mirror, the reflection of it shifts and pulls into the image of the god Sune. And you hear, well met, dearest one. How do you feel today? I feel like a bad bitch, you know. We popping off. How are you feeling? Is there something I can assist you with? I can guide you through many guided meditations or breathing exercises. And that sounds so fucking nice. Um, I don't think I really need to breathe all like too much, Loki. Um, I just need a little bit of direction. I'm gonna look up at the other people. Who is this? What is this? What's going on? I'll be honest. I'm not really sure. It did that last time, and then opened a portal, and they walked through, but it disappeared. But I was asked to keep an eye on it, so I'm just keeping the book. And the yeah. therapist book meets the therapist vampire. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> this can only go one way. I don't know what way, but I know it can only go one. I'm, I'm just seeing the imposing zens here. You have calm zen, and then there's chaotic zen. <laughs> They're going to come together and just implode. Like, there's no other way. <laughs> Oh no, they're going to come together in complete harmony. <laughs> King and Yang. <laughs> they complete each other. I mean, it would make sense. Therapist. The calm therapist is a deity. The chaotic therapist is an undead figure. Like, you know. Makes sense. <laughs> okay, I'm... Okay, I'm going to, like, turn back to the book and I'm like, hey. Okay, so, like... Are you, like actually like a, a a being of subconscious babe or like is this like a metaphysical thing where you're attached to an item our world faces many realities at any given time are you finding it difficult to cope with your own reality uh, dead ass i think i might be because low-key i think all of my besties are in another one if rest, relaxation, or transformation is what you need, then follow the lilies, dearest one. I am sure Savari will see to your needs. And as she says this, next to this group, a five foot wide, seven foot high portal just appears in the space near you. And the face of the book disappears. What is 
feel so validated. I want to take her home. I want to treat her right. I want to give her good things. <laughs> you have such an opposite reaction of everyone else to this book last time. <laughs> everyone else is like, that's a big bucket of nope. And you're like, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Honestly, though, we didn't expect anything less. <laughs> she, from what she sees, she's got a same mindset. She's like, "What's your issue? Let's let's help. I'ma help you, babe. Like, what's up? Are you finding this difficult?" She's like, "Oh my god, you're giving me tools to to help myself right now." Yes. <laughs> vampire book or vampire book? Vampire, vampire therapist. Book. <laughs> therapist book. I think it's where I could just call it a self-help book. His, his chicken soup for favor and soul. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, you slay. walk through the portal? Yeah, I'm probably gonna give the book back. Oh, okay. This is a thing that's happening again. Honestly, she said she has breathing exercises. You should totally do some of those. That sounds really nice. You know, your brain always, like, like... Uh, like when I like, like had human friends who are like aware of their physicality, they're always like, "Oh, breathing, getting that oxygen to your brain, like filling your lungs, kind of stretching everything." Like that really like helps and regulate I don't everything. Rush you, but it looks almost like it's fading a little bit. Oh my god! Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I pull out my rapier and I just burst through. You just step through. Yeah. You are greeted by a beautiful scene of luscious grasses, fields of lilies, definite fey energy bullshit happening here. You also see ahead of you a giant temple. And as you walk up to it, do you enter? Um, nah, I'm a vibe check. All right, vibe check it away. I would just like um, to point out that a portal opened for six seconds and Mimi spent 5.9 seconds giving out advice to somebody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> she any less. No, no, that's how it is. Okay, we're just doing a straight up vibe check. Yep, just, yeah, it could be an inside check, but yeah. Uh, that's a 12 on a vibe check specifically. It seems like a very beautiful, nice, almost like fancy hotel, kind of, mm. in the Feywild. Mm. Big double doors. Okay, I'm an insight check now to see if this door can be trusted. You can insight check the door. Yeah. No. It's a door. Door. I'm a, I'm a like, like, I'm assuming I'm like, I'm dressed for daytime. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna just like gently like scratch Keith's head as he's on my hat. I'm gonna like, okay, babe, I'm, I'm gonna need you to wake up right now. I need a support system, dead ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, it's so bright. I know, yeah. Like I love it, but like I hate it. But I love it. But it's so inconvenient. Yeah. Uh, see, that's the fun part. But like Loki, I feel like everything's glowing, and I'm kind of like. Eh. Um, I've really forgot about Keith. He must be having a whale of a time. <laughs> <laughs> He's always here. Homie's up to something constantly, whether we Look, know it or not. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, but the fiend and Feyre on bullshit, like. Uh, we'll, we'll speed through a little bit of the rest of it because it's just going to be like, yeah, we got it. We got to catch up to the evening. <laughs> so yeah. do you enter the building. Yeah, I'm going to enter. I, I just need Keith to, to so I don't feel alone right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keith is still with you. You open the doors. And there's this like ding sound. You see a front desk, but no one is currently manning it. And there are rooms around you and you spend the rest of the day just exploring the inner workings. There's a courtyard outside where there is a, you know, uh, a bright red haired um, 
darkened skinned sun elf leading people in calisthenics, basically. Just like squat exercises, tug of war with an end tree. <laughs> um, Is this the hot bitch club? What's happening? There's another individual wandering the building who has bright green hair, a veil covering the milky white eyes, um, a wood elf, I believe. Beautiful green dress, very, 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 very bubbly demeanor. Um, you step into the lounge. There is a moon elf with long, dark hair, purplish eyes, deep violetish blue um, dress to, who takes the time to tell you about like the specials that they have where they can, if they get to paint you for an hour, you'll get like stat upgrades, stuff like that. And then they, if you can sign up for on the list, they'll come get you later in the evening. It's exciting. What? There's a big where, where am I? What is this? You're in I'm a... ask somebody. I don't know who I'm asking somebody. What is this? It is called the Temple of the Restful Lily. There is a hot spring room around. There's other visitors here. There are very beautiful staff members running a bar. It's gorgeous. And this is how you enjoy your day looking for your party that you haven't seen yet until later in the evening as you are wandering the halls because you never bother to like get a key or sign up into this you're just wandering and no one yeah. stopped you because no one was at the desk so they think you belong here i mean i'm, I'm a hot bitch actually i wanted to ask it like this the, i've never been in the fey wild before can i walk around okay and not need sun protection is that a thing or am i still like no you're still gonna need sun protection crispy. when you're outside yeah damn yeah okay when i when i'm but inside the, like, if has, i can help most it. of the stuff that i listed except for the courtyard with the calisthenics is is roofed it's got a it's indoors it's but at this point it's later in the evening pretty late at night um you were walking around you saw a white scaled kobold for a moment and were chasing them to see where they went lost sight of them completely and started walking down part of the hall make a perception check for me please this is this well we know how my meaningful roles have gone oh that's not bad 13 13 okay so as you're walking down the hall, you actually get to a point where it's just like there are doors on either side of the hallway from you, but the hall itself, you've reached the end of. There's like no window ahead of you. You're just at a dead end and you're like, lovely. But think you hear footprints in the hall back around the corner where you were. I'm gonna dip around. You go back up the hallway and look around. Yeah. yeah. You look around just in time to see, I believe it was Renji, <laughs> closing a door in the hall into one of the rooms. So Renji is in the hall now? No, Renji's going into one of the rooms and closing the door behind him because he didn't notice you there. Actually, Renji, make a perception check. As you go to close that door. Oh, please. Oh. Um, perception? 18. Mm -hmm. 18? Yeah, so as you're about to close the door, you see a very familiar bundle of that white, silky, silvery hair under a very large hat. This guy's behind me. 
Hi, babe. <laughs> you literally grabs Mimi. I am sorry, I didn't ask for consent, but <laughs> and rips you into a room. You get pulled into a room where Ling and Kendall currently sit with a small, snow-white scaled kobold resting on the edge of a very messy bed and a tall drow stands with his hand on a weapon as you come into the room on his belt. Uh, Who is... Friend, friend, friend. Okay. This oh, is nice either... of you to join the orgy. Oh, I mean, yeah. Party. Actually, I was about to say this is either a hostage situation or a very fun situation, oh, well, and I don't no, know whoa, which. Whoa. No one has paid me yet. <laughs> Where's my money? Um, Coffee not... I can you not... <laughs> <laughs> no. right, I have it right here. Oh, yeah, I left uh... my coin. That's back a candle keep. Oh no. <clears throat> oh, too bad. So sad. Yeah, um, okay. Hi. Um, <laughs> Mimi, bad bitch of the year. Um, bad I... bitch of the century, thank you. You know? Um, uh, it's okay. I've been, I feel like this is like low key a nice building. I cannot tell, I can't repeat to you how I got here. Um, I also don't know what's. What's going on? I just know that I know these people and I like these people. What's what's happening? Who are you? Tall, dark, and handsome. What's up? A friend of yours, I take it? Oh, very much a friend. Yes. Good people. One of the baddest bitches I know. Slay. You too. Slay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The fact that maybe goes, Slay. <laughs> and Kendall's accent, Slay. I'm gonna draw that. I'm gonna draw that, actually. <laughs> like, Mimi- okay, but you have to draw it with Mimi's sleigh being in, like, the sparkly, like, Barbie font. And, and then Kindle's in, like, being in, like, italicized, like, cursive. Cursive, yeah. <laughs> Slay. I was also Slay. thinking of a drawing where Renji is literally pulling the strings of the cincher like all the yeah. way and with the look of just like maybe <laughs> <laughs> he's just like come on harder <laughs> you can go harder <laughs> I, I want to suffocate I can still... if my tits aren't popping out I don't want it it's fine. I don't breathe anyway. I don't breathe anyway. <laughs> Please crush my ribs. Tighter. I can almost feel the pulse I don't have. Tighter. <laughs> I don't want to this in the future. Oh my God. You are welcome. <laughs> I love Mimi so much. And this is why we need to do the Trust Fun Kids oh my campaign. God. Because... No, please, please. This needs to sometime in the summer. Please, <laughs> let's get just a like date. A, just, I will just like work a four on shot, because it. it'd be fucking hilarious. I, I will work <laughs> on it. I will work on it. Uh, okay, as long as I can be the airhead. It doesn't I exactly just, know what's going on. I yes, ma'am. I love this party and the chaos, and I'm, I love this so much. <laughs> Look, I, I'm I, sorry, I, what did you say? I didn't catch that. I, I, I'm standing by my Chad. I'm standing by Yes! Him. We need Chad. Yes. We need Chad. I need Chad. We need it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. My cheeks hurt. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I feel Lord. like I'm at the point in my life where I can't play any other character but Mimi. I, it ha- Mimi just is is the serotonin. She is made of serotonin. You have embodied the Mimi. No, she's made mm-hmm. of silicone. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> home girls, excuse me, those are homegirls all natural. Homegirls hey, all oh, natural. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh. sorry. Did you say natural twenties? Oh my God, no. <laughs> 
I mean, listen, if you feel like Pretty you need autistic. body mods to, like, be happier with yourself and be get rid of a little gender dysphoria, fucking slay. But also, if you can get to a point with yourself that you're proud of who you are, then fucking slay! You see this face? This shit don't wrinkle. That is my immortal curse. And you know what? We fucking rock it. I love that's it. The mo that's the most fake you got in me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Most girls All I get need... critical hits. <laughs> Mimi gets critical tits. <laughs> See, all I need, all I need is a t-shirt that says they're natural and has two natural 20s mm -hmm. on the that shirt. I want it so bad. I'm an artiste. I've seen I that at least so locked bad. up. Ah. Oh. Okay, anyways, what's going on? Anyways, anyways. I pointed, I pointed to a tall, dark, and handsome. Hello. Yep, tall, dark, and handsome. What's going on? Uh, removes his hand from the blade. I am Ilmar, and I'm hoping that you are willing to help me deal with this issue here. Yeah, um, from go. Did you see any, like, stupidly attractive, like, elves running the place? There was a moon elf, a sun elf, and a wood elf. Yeah, we're talking to you. Yeah, that's why I said home girl. Okay, I didn't sound, I, did, I didn't process English for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, homegirl. I'm homegirl. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't process common for a second. My brain sorry. wasn't working. I dis I low key disassociated. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like honestly, like every person I saw was attractive. Like, you got to be a little more specific. Like, moon elf, yeah. High elf, yeah. Like. I mean, they're, they're, they're not elves. They're not. They're actually disguised. They're a coven of hags. Mm -hmm. We use this place to steal people's. I don't know. But um, steal their it's not a good place. It's something about making portraits, but uh, the portrait's supposed to give you features that you want to have, but it actually just changes you into a completely different person and it's very much like what is his name uh, uh florian dre i can uh, i still can't remember the name it was, it was some a kind of story i can't i can't remember but the kobold no, looks banana. at you the kobold looks at you away and goes hey i'm a tiefling nice to meet you yeah their story yes. is insane <clears throat> No, uh, not a sleigh? No. Not a sleigh. No, not a sleigh. No. So, okay, who... Is that really an elf? Me, yes. yes I'm, I am, in fact... I came here looking for a friend who I haven't heard from in a while who used to run this place, and I found it was run by something else. But... I think they've realized I'm snooping around because I've been watched more lately. Not a sleigh. Yes, not a sleigh. Not. Ooh. Not a sleigh. Uh, friends, no. I have a very personal friend who I've spotted here yesterday in the uh, in the baths. So we we most definitely need to take care of this. Um. Preferably without them seeing us, but you know. I don't know. I'm kind of all out this. there. <clears throat> yeah. Kindle's like kind of literally on fire. So, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, what are y'all thinking of if you're thinking of anything at this moment? I think we just started our planning phase. Isn't that right? I went to go watch last last week's uh, episode, but it wasn't uploaded yet, so I couldn't refresh my memory. Oh, no, yeah, I thought well, I did. I'm sorry. So it could be just not added to the the playlist. I don't know. I'm probably behind my uploads. 
Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I believe we are in the planning stage. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick. Um, so, um, one hang is bad enough. Three. What was that in the water that you that you saw yesterday, Renji? Oh, um, something about that. <clears throat> a dryad. Nine. Right. Dryad. 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 Something else. Dryad is specifically in wood. Yeah. Um, a, a naiad, a water spirit thing. Well, uh... can, can can be friendly. Can also. Hmm. From how you described it, looked at you, it didn't seem friendly. Is it's there not... a possibility that hags are? Vulnerable to fire. Good question. Do any of us know anything about hags? You can roll a history if you want. I would like to plus four. Why? Wait, is Eight that really me? Die. Why do I have a plus five for history? Wait, what's going on? Wait. <gasps> because you're old as balls, we need. The first you I have, a mi- I have a minus one for intelligence. What did I choose? Who am I? That's Mimi. I must have done something in my character sheet at some point. Okay. Maybe, maybe you probably you chose added proficiency a proficiency and expertise. Proficiency, yeah. Probably did that, yeah. <laughs> that didn't help anyways. That's a 10. <laughs> I got a 19. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, girl! Nope. Nine. 20, 20, 23, dang. Yeah, 19 on the die. <laughs> Play. Um, so anyone who rolled above a 17 will know that there's actually a couple different types of hags. Okay. Um, for the most part, however, they are spell casters. Um, they have a tendency to go invisible if they need. Um, they're pretty hardy. Uh, they have, they tend to pro- to use their spell casting as ways to trick others into deals that benefit them. So they will on a basic look give off this appearance of this beauty and grandeur but hidden underneath the illusion is something far worse Uh, you don't get the sense that fire is going to be any more helpful than any other attack as kindled Kindled and i have mentioned this all to the group as you were saying it (laughs) Mm mm-hmm Totally. So I don't think they have any particular weakness to fire as as much as anything else. But hear me out. Hear me out. We get them in a room. And I blast the room on fire. Now that's a thought. I'm Um, resistant, so I can stay inside. And blow the thing up. I can evade pretty well. So, if you blast it, then I come in close within uh, close quarters and slice them to ribbons. Maybe. Back to work. You could possibly attempt to hold one of them in place if it tries to flee. Yeah. Do you think they give me charm? Question. Um. Hmm. Question, DM. Hmm. As I am a pallid elf, and um, elves are fey in nature, would I know that anything from the fey wild is pretty hardy to charm effects? What was your history roll for the hag? Uh, <laughs> nine. 
hard to tell. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, we could try. Um, it might just be like, I could lead them to said room that we put on fire. Or we could go, or we could go to their room. And sne um, sneak up on them. Yeah. Especially if it's the painting room. We can get everything all in one go. But then again... If we know where that room is. Turns to the drow. Where are the paintings kept? Well, some of them are kept in the servants' quarters. Some of them, I'm not really sure. There is the space they use to do the paintings, their studio. That's part of the tower. The is back. it strange that I would be hesitant to go in that room? Perhaps we should try the servants' quarters first. Uh, looks to the coal bowl. Could you lead us to where we need to go, please? I mean, yeah, yeah, I can do that. That's no problem, but we gotta be really fucking quiet, because if those goddamn employees see us, then I am fucking screwed. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sneaky, so... Oh, that's all I need to hear, man. That's fine with me. Sure. All right. If you'd like, you can pull up the map. Yep. As, as soon as we head out, I, could, I turn invisible. Just straight up. I love that. <laughs> And the ghost behind me, me and Singes of course it. <laughs> Stealth Singe. <laughs> <She's a fool. laughs> oh, yay! That already. <laughs> Kindle will um, turn on her new disguise with the tiefling look and the silver okay. hair, um, and step outside. All right, so we are back in the hall. Everybody roll me stealth checks. I get advantage. Oh. Fucking invisible. Before I roll stealth, I'm going to use my change ability to um, look like the female furball that we talked to earlier in the bats. Okay, absolutely. So it's not our perhaps when I'm going to do it. Mimi, pop off. My bad, my bad. Let's... The Baby one, the, the best <laughs> roll of 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 her yet. She decided to slay now. Don't know why, but that's what she did. This best not get caught. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, twenty, yeah, twenty-four. Okay. Rangey. I got an eighteen. A nineteen. Play. We popping off. We still <laughs> Cobb was like, hey, where'd you guys go? <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Let me give me a minute, cause like I said before, this book is not well laid out. Or this mm -hmm. this particular chapter is just weirdly written. Mm -hmm. Guidance on standby. So and if we need to the... do anything. Okay. So you all begin to follow the kobold and Ooh, a natural twenty. But did anyone roll less than a a fifteen? Cool. You're able to continue through the hall, back through the lobby area, and up past, you guys are all scattered all over the place, the treatment rooms. Um, I will say you also noticed that Ilmar, reached, before you left, reached under the bed and pulled out 
a crossbow um, with bolts and then strapped a very shiny looking sword onto his side. Um, and as you pass through the treatment rooms, mm-hmm. reaches into one of them and grabs a vial. It was still on the drow or the cobalt? The drow. Okay. It was <clears> his <throat> room that you were in at that time. Okay. Uh, and then you find yourselves now outside the building towards the back, a place that you have not seen before. And you see um, a walking path that leads to a very round, tall tower. And ahead and kind of off into the bushes, there does look to be a building over to the, like straight back to the left-ish that seems to have fallen into disrepair. Um, Make a perception check, all of you. And another stealth check as you step outside. Another 19 for me for stealth and perception. Oh. This also 19. Oh no. Oh no. Well, uh. Uh, uh, uh. For all the thanks. seven for perception. Oh, shit. Um. Friends on Mimi. She actually has a chance. So we're. <laughs> What were the perception rolls first? Seven. Nineteen. Nine. Twenty. Okay. Um, and what were the stealth rolls? Guidance on Mimi. So that what as a that do? As a, a D4. D4. <laughs> okay, so then that is... 17. 17. Yep. And Kindle got a 7. I got an 8. 8. Uh, 24. It's not again. much better. Okay, 24. 19. 19. Alright. You all step outside. And you expect the Feywild to have more sounds that you would expect at night. You know, um, birds, owls, something. It is quiet. Except Ling and Renji notice. Some quiet conversation that's barely audible on the path ahead of you. As a long black haired moon elf walks side by side with a young halfling. Oh, no. Going into the tower. You see Ling start to step forward, stop himself. (laughs) Stop this. Okay. You just hear you just hear whispering in your ear. Walk right forward, scout ahead. You guys find any cover you can. I can't promise I'll do much by myself, but I will do recon and come back. Okay? Yep, let them start that that process on on Jared. And I know, I know, but I can't do much by myself. I'll do as much as I can, okay? Keith, take Keith. Keith, go with Renji. Keith, I'm going to need you to be exceedingly quiet. But can Keith see me, like, even though, um, when I'm invisible? That's a great question. I don't know. You don't know. 
Keith can go invisible himself. Yes, but there's something specific that he would need to be able to see, which is called blind sight, which I don't believe he has. This is true. It's just a good combo. From this point forward, we are silent, not quiet. Silent. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Hey, don't you bring Pascal Daddy around here. Bring him out wherever I want. Um, what? I've changed the map. Oh, okay. Could you send it my way, please? Yes. Thank you. I'm actually, because we are going to be getting into more interesting things now. Mm -hmm. Switch over. this. By the way, the rest of the party hasn't didn't know that I met Jared at Candlekeep, or nope, who Jared you, was. Nope, you haven't they, said anything of it. Yeah, no, this is the first time, and uh, Ling has been very kind of distant and, and kind of in their own thoughts, especially for the past week, and Mimi especially would know, because we've been kind of training the bard magic for the week. <clears throat> Okay. 